What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at three different type of LED light for running and walking at night. I picked up at Walmart for under $20. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions as well as a try on and most importantly we're going to take the camera outside so you can get a good idea as to how bright these lights are and how far you can see someone. Without further ado let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions and stick around till the end of the video for a little bit of fun and to see how bright these lights are in the complete pitch black dark. Uh, one thing I want to point out about each of these items here is they actually work in tandem with one another now and then last but not least they all have pretty much the exact same light settings with the visibility vest you get three light settings you get a steady a flashing and a slow flashing with the sneaker clips you get a steady and a flashing so you get two of the three lighting uh, modes as you get on the LED visibility vest. So if you wanted to match the steady and flashing lights together between the vest and the sneaker clips, you could do that. And then last but not least, the thin profile LED headlamp has a bright and a super bright mode. And what's actually interesting about the LED headlamp is it is impact resistant. Okay, so starting off, we're gonna take a look at the Athletic Works thin profile LED headlamp. First impressions are you're gonna have this big bulky plastic piece with LED lights in it that are battery operated, but that's not the case here. LED lights are extremely low profile, they're thin, they're in all the latest smartphone displays because they are thin and they are flexible, which is how they were able to get them in this flexible adjustable headband here and also make it form fitting and thin profile. So you can actually integrate them into a headband and put it on your head and not have to worry about those bulbs breaking or anything like that. They should be pretty much covered up by a nice plastic piece uh, and they should be pretty much water resistant as well uh, as long as that plastic piece over top keeps them covered. But uh, as you can see here, very nice packaging by Athletic Works. Uh, as you can see, we can just open the box up right here and the LED headlamp comes right out. Now, first thing you're going to get in the box here is a quick start guide and it's basically just going to address how you're going to change the batteries. Uh, and it also actually goes over some of the power settings at the bottom there. So uh, it's just as simple as pressing the power button to operate it and then uh, probably pressing the power button just a couple of times to adjust the mode. Like I said, you get a bright mode and a super bright mode with this headlamp. And then last but not least in the box, you get the headlamp. Now, uh, batteries are not included with the LED headlamp, just the vest and the sneaker clips. So you're just gonna wanna get a Phillips head screwdriver if you have one on hand, that's great. And just unscrew this battery box here so you can insert the AAA batteries. It does take three AAA batteries. And as you can see here, uh, you just want to slide the battery box out of this elastic uh, enclosure here and make sure to not lose the screw. And then of course, insert the batteries as needed. So uh, we should pretty much be able to just get this up and running. Uh, what I actually sort of kind of wish uh, you had with this headband was some kind of just maybe clip on or clip in cover for the batteries like you would get on a TV remote, for example, but not really all too big of a deal. Uh, the screw just goes right back into place there. Uh, it's not stripped or anything like that, thank God. But after you're done, just slip the battery box back into this elastic enclosure here. And then as you'll notice at the side of the enclosure here where this wire is sticking out, uh, you do get the power button. So it's power on to get super bright lights and then it's press the power button one more time to get bright lights and then last but not least click the power button a third time to turn it off so uh, you'll know this is right side up because you'll want the athletic works right side up uh, you get an athletic works logo on the uh, left temple and the right temple here and actually that's one pretty interesting uh, little feature about this headband is it's not uh, elastic at the front at all uh, it's actually the elastic 
material underneath here, probably just to keep it comfortable. And then you get the LED strip on the front here. Uh, that laminated sort of plastic over these LED bulbs are stitched down to just ensure that this piece of laminated plastic does not come off over the LED lights. Uh, one thing I actually want to point out are these little black clips at the side here that have the Athletic Works logo on them. These are not adjustable whatsoever. Uh, so I'm a little bit concerned that these actually might be just a little bit uncomfortable up against my forehead. Uh, this is just a little bit of a faulty design here that these can pretty much come unglued, but not really a big deal. But just to point this out, these are not to adjust anything whatsoever. Uh, if you actually notice here, this black piece doesn't even go past this clip here. And if you pretty much position it out toward the center of the headband here, it's basically covering the LED lights, which defeats the purpose. But as you'll see here on the left-hand side, this black piece over the LED light strip pretty much works really nicely to keep this wire covered here so that the wire itself maybe doesn't protrude out and become taut or any way. This battery pack is pretty much going straight into the LED headlamp at the front of the headband here. And because you have this black plastic piece covering the top of the wire here, you don't have to worry about it becoming attached or detached, excuse me, or something maybe grabbing onto it and causing it to detach or ripping it out of the LED headband itself. Uh, it just slides right back in. I wouldn't necessarily worry about uh, losing this piece. Uh, the one thing I am kind of concerned about, however, is how heavy is this gonna be? And you can also see just the quality and actually the thickness of the elastic headband itself. It's actually a pretty nice durable piece. Uh, there's no imperfections here or inconsistencies. Everything is really well made and put together. That's a pretty up close look at the battery pack there. Okay, so here I've got the LED headlamp on. Don't mind my hair. It actually might be covering up uh, the LED light just a tad. But uh, what I can actually tell you right now is my first concern was that the battery pack at the back was going to be just a little bit heavy that it was going to maybe fall off the back of my head. Uh, I'm actually wiggling my head around here. I'm shaking it around pretty vigorously. Uh, obviously, if you're out running or out walking, it's probably going to move. Uh, the black battery pack on the back is actually lighter than I was expecting. Uh, it's actually holding onto the back of my head fairly well. Yeah, one thing I actually want to point out here is the LED lights on their brightest mode heat up very quickly and they actually stay hot even when you go down to the lower level brightness. Okay, so this is probably the most interesting item on the table here. These are the sneaker clips. Uh, one thing I also want to point out is once you open these up, there's no going back. You pretty much have to destroy the box. But the first thing I want to point out is how flexible they are. As you can see, they are not flexible at all, but that's a good thing because you don't have to worry about these falling off the back of your heel while you're running or while you're walking. Uh, but one thing I want to point out here is uh, don't bend them too much because I think you could break them. Uh, one thing I'm a little bit concerned about here is the lighting aspect here. How bright are these going to be? Uh, one thing I actually want to point out here is when you are running or walking, you are kicking your feet out and back, for example. Uh, especially if you're running, uh, the back of your heel should really be coming up towards the back of your leg, like towards your uh, buttocks, for example. So if you are running and someone is approaching you from behind, they should definitely be able to see you running with these on. And like I said, uh, they are a bright LED light and they are very rich in color. So there's no mistaking. The unfortunate thing here is it doesn't look like there's any way to replace the battery, but we'll have to take a look at that here later. But one thing that's actually really kind of cool is depending on how quickly you set them in flashing mode, you can actually set them intermittently. You can pretty much get this one blinking and then get this one blinking. And as you can see, the interval is much greater and you can get it even greater than that. So really cool that they sort of work intermittently. I think even though they're at the bottom of your foot uh, and at the back of your body, 
these actually might be the most visible of the product here. This is obviously going to be the most visible. Uh, according to the box, these do come with batteries here. This is definitely a much more sophisticated setup here. Uh, you actually get this really big black buckle here, uh, which is actually pretty nice, high quality. Uh, you can pretty much see just how well it snapped in place there. Uh, but one thing I think you'll notice here is that the elastic piece is much wider than it is on the headband. And that's actually going to make it just more comfortable to wear around the body. Uh, what's actually interesting is uh, you actually get one cable from the uh, left hand side or my right hand side running in the opposite direction and then you get another cable on the left hand side or your right hand side here uh, running in the opposite direction. So uh, you get them sort of crisscrossed here, uh, almost like a shoelace, which wouldn't be that big of a deal because uh, as you all know, we tie our shoes every day and they are crisscrossed and they work phenomenally well. But what's actually really kind of weird here is when you actually pull this band apart, uh, you actually get this light source here where the batteries are stowed, where you can control the LED lights themselves. As you can see when I pull the, when I pull the uh, belt apart here, uh, this actually is becoming detached and it actually sort of scrunches up because you have opposite forces pulling uh, from the opposite sides of each patch here. So, uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and go outside. It's starting to get a little bit dark, so this video may be off by just an hour or two, but not really a big deal. Let's go ahead and go outside and see what these look like. Okay guys, so it's a little bit late. It's about 10.30 at night, but when I made the video, it was about 5.30, maybe 6 o'clock. It was around that time. Uh, so there were still just a couple of hours left of daylight. But uh, as you can see here, I've got the headband on. Uh, if we actually just reach around the back here, we can pretty much just go ahead and turn the headband on. Uh, it's pretty bright. Uh, I've actually pretty much been able to illuminate everything that's in front of me here. There is a street lamp, but for the most part, all the shadows uh, are now much, much brighter than they were before. I'm able to see under the car a little bit here. I'm actually out in a parking lot. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn that off for a second. And as you saw, it actually did flicker. Uh, but uh, one thing I actually want to take a look at here are the snap-on LED lights for the heel of your shoe. So I've got a tennis shoe here, and I actually have a flip-flop. Uh, you're probably wondering why would I be exercising in flip-flops. But uh, sometimes when I just want to walk casually, or maybe if I'm going for a walk, with the dog and it's late at night and uh, you know I need people to see me uh, why not just be able to throw it on the back of your leg uh, one thing I want to point out is on the inside of this little plastic piece here are teeth and they actually grab the back of the shoe or the back of your uh, muscle there as it is on my leg and it pretty much grabs on and keeps it from falling off uh, but one thing here I want to point out is this is really not a long-term solution. If you're going to go for a mile walk or a walk around the neighborhood for an hour, an hour and a half, this is definitely going to get a little bit tender. It's going to get a little bit raw. It is not comfortable at all. Uh, this is probably the most comfortable spot I've had it on here uh, because there are less pressure points here. But if I actually move it down to below my ankle, which as you notice is pretty much where it is on the tennis shoe here. Let me go ahead and turn it on. It's pretty much below the ankle as you can see. Uh, it's just extremely uncomfortable down there because there are so many more pressure points. But um, actually, you know what, here's a good opportunity to pretty much give you a good idea of how bright the LED headlamp is there. So, and last but not least, I almost forgot what's actually pretty cool is you can have these work intermittently. So as you can see here, I had one blinking first and then to get them intermittently working, you just pretty much wait a second and get the opposite side going next. And as you can see, they're blinking one after another here, which is pretty cool. So if I'm going for a walk around the neighborhood and I have both on, 
And last but not least, we have the LED light vest here. As you can see, the battery and the light are actually pretty much in the same housing here. Uh, one thing I think you'll notice is that this one has become uh, detached actually from this Velcro piece, which uh, attaches to the buckle here. Uh, earlier, I was trying to put this on, uh, I was trying to fit it to my body and my waist, and uh, I was a little bit too rough with it, and this ended up ripping off. So uh, just to give you an idea as to how durable this is, as you can see, I just ripped this other housing off. So uh, leaving me with just a crappy Velcro piece, right? So as you can see, I just pretty much broke this apart. Uh, what I do actually like about this though is how simple it is, really. It's just, um, two LED lights here in this housing and it's powered by a battery obviously and uh, from what it looks like you can actually change these batteries out but you shouldn't have to worry about any lights in this uh, wiring here going bad because it's really just a uh, liquid of some sort that just lights up that illuminates when you turn the light on so the lighting is actually pretty consistent all the way through if you actually look at this cable here uh, it's green all the way through and it's pretty bright down towards the base of the cable but for the most part running throughout it's consistent and it's bright and it's green so uh, really lightweight and simple product but also not very well thought out just in terms of usability you saw how easy it was to break Anyways guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of three wearable LED products I picked up at Walmart. Because I picked them up at Walmart, that does make them a big box good. Just to summarize this video before we check out, one thing I did not like here was the LED visibility vest. I thought the quality was a little bit left to be desired. Uh, as you saw earlier in the video, the battery light did come detached from the Velcro piece that attaches to the belt itself. Uh, I was expecting this to be sort of like an overall type LED light vest, uh, and it is, except it just doesn't fit like one. Uh, it's actually just a little bit strange the way they plan this out. It just gets tangled up way too easily. Uh, the wires or the cables that act as the LED light that give you visibility in the dark are really just no different than a glow stick. It's this visible gel on the inside that illuminates when uh, an LED light source passes through it. So, uh, and last but not least, I think if you're really concerned about uh, people not being able to see you from behind with the sneaker clips, uh, you should also be concerned that people aren't going to see you from the front. So ditch the LED light vest and go with the headband here. Uh, the headband, the only complaint about it that I had was the LED light bulbs do heat up a little bit, but not to the point where I need to rip it off my head, right? It's still comfortable enough to wear for long periods of time. And actually one uh, key aspect about that I want to just quickly note here is if you do live in the Northeast in the winter months and the early spring months, uh, it's going to be cold and it's going to get dark early. So uh, having some warm LED light bulbs around your head might actually come in handy. Uh, you could easily attach it over top of beanie, for example. And one thing that's actually really cool about the headband that I actually just want to mention here is you can actually rotate it around your head. So it doesn't have to be at the front of your head. Uh, you can actually move it to the left hand side or you can move it over to the right hand side. So maybe if you're jogging on the left hand side of the road against oncoming traffic, uh, you could maybe have it off to your right uh, just so that it's in the line of sight of someone uh, driving on the left hand side as we do here in the United States. Or if you're walking down the road with traffic and you're worried about people not seeing you from behind, just rotate the headband back and maybe to the left a little bit or maybe off to the side of your head so that people can see it a little bit better. Anyways, I think it's a great product. The one product here that I was extremely disappointed in was the LED light vest. I think that could have been executed just a little bit better. But without further ado, uh, these items are all under $20 and they will increase 
uh, your safety when you are jogging or walking at night. Even if you're not exercising, uh, using the light clips for your sneakers or the headband are just something that's going to be awesome to have. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Also, check out our merchandise store. I'm thinking about revamping it and doing some custom-made items. Let me know what you would think of that. My name is John. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.